Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts and um, this is the second video that I'm doing on um, a layout that I had time for yesterday which was Saturday. Um, still working on my 2012 scrapbook album and um, as I mentioned in my first video um, I'm excited that I'm almost done. Um, we had a little Halloween party for my um, younger son and all of them were trying to be grown up and everything, 14, 15 years old. You know, we're not going to wear a costume. We're going to go trick-or-treating. But uh, they ended up going into my garage and um, getting all these boxes that I had in there. Um, and I have to admit it's from buying a lot of scrapbooking stuff. But long story short, they made costumes out of them. It was hilarious. I wish I could show you the pictures in detail. Um, but I'm covering up their faces for privacy issues. It was very funny. All right, so starting with the base, this paper is from Big Lots. It's a paper pack that I got, um, gosh, maybe three or four years ago. And um, it's very thin paper with a little bit of texture, so it doesn't cut well if you're trying to do int intricate cuts on the Cricut. Um, it was really inexpensive, but I love that it has um, the two sides like this. So I just wanted to show you that. Now, this is from... Um, pretty pennants. Uh, I love love this Cricut cartridge and I wish that I could remember that I had it because I love doing banners. And uh, this one is from, I think, oops, I passed it up. This last page here. Now for some reason, and if anybody's used this cartridge before, I could really use your input. It didn't cut the right side of the spider web on, on any of the cuts and I don't know if there was a malfunction on with my cartridge or if anybody else has had problems with that but I was just curious. Um, I did cut these at three inches and I just put four across and I considered even dangling a little spider from here as well so I, I may still end up doing that. Um, I went ahead underneath it and put a strip of this here that I got at a scrapbook expo uh, sticky times. So that's underneath it like this. All right, so the lettering is, I just got this in the mail last week. It's called Black Letter Gothic and uh, I had to have it. One of those things that pops up in your email and you say, oh my gosh. And it's pretty cool actually. It's got, um, I love the, the style of the, the letters, but it's got some swirly accents and a little um, that's actually, you cut it out and it's got cuts on it so that you can slide it on a piece of paper. It's got some uh, banners and some other really neat designs. So that's going to be fun to work with and I thought it was perfect for Halloween. Um, then for, what did I do for Happy Hauntings? Hmm. Oh, the bats. Um, the bats, the bats, the bats. I made, see if I can find them real quick. They've got a couple of different kinds of bats in here, but I chose, not these, but these right here. And I cut those, actually those were cut out at 8 inches. Um, I was kind of freaking out about it because look how small they are. And I kept cutting it bigger and bigger and bigger. And yeah, so, um, I'm to lift up my page here. This is actually 8 inches. Is that crazy? It's a little. So I gotta make a note on my manual that tells me that an eight inch cut, cut is equivalent to, um, I'm gonna say like a one and a half or a two inch size. So next time I use it, I know. Um, I put a little bit of little, I don't know if you call them blings. I've used them before. Um, got them in the bargain bin at Michael's. Um, EK Success, just add a little bit more shininess to it. So far as the photo mat to go, um, I found this at um, my one of my scrapbook stores and I, I don't know if that's too bright actually for the camera but uh, oh, it's so cute it just popped out Halloween for me and it matched really well with the purple um, strip of ribbon type stuff that I used okay I also got this creative imaginations um, and I don't remember where I bought this but it's got Halloween verbiage uh, black night happy Halloween um, so I use those as well. For the photo mat, I can't remember where I saw this, but I wanted to show you real quick. Like, let's just say you have a four by 
the five photo we'll say. So you're going to cut it down. Um, well, okay, let's say it's a three and three quarters by four and three quarters. So you're going to cut it um, a quarter inch bigger than your photo. So I'm going to do, oh, let's do a five by, okay, five by four. I don't, I'm making this up as I go along. Now it's really cool if you just go in a quarter inch, let me pull this up just a little bit, and you're just going to slice up to, oh, about right there. Like that. And then you grab your scissors. I mean, this is not a new technique by all means. And you snip this. And then you have um, like an index tab design. And that's where I put the little word there. So I thought it was different. And I can't remember where I saw this. I'm, I, it was a copycat. But anyway, I, I used that for the photo mat, the purple. And then I put the words on it. Um, frighten, spirit, fright. And then down here I used um, one of my Spellbinders die cuts that is um, like a scallop oval and I actually cut it in half and stuck it underneath there so I could do some journaling. And then the last thing I did is I cannot get enough of my EK Success Chevron Punch. I tell you, so fun to work with this. Um, Alright, so that is all that I did for the layout. I put the the journaling tags out here this time. And um, I think that is it. Like I said, I still may end up going and cutting some spiders and, um, you know, hanging them down like that. I think that would add really some, a lot of fun to the page. So, all right, so that's my Halloween layout. And um, I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to hear your comments. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Whoops, bumped the camera again. <laughs> Bye.